So Ghost in the Shell is a movie that is going to be coming out relatively soon. And if you don't know about it, we do have another video somewhere on the channel about Ghost in the Shell and what you can expect from it. So we won't get in depth too much there, but it is a movie that will be adapted from an anime series. I don't know. Was there a manga for Ghost in the Shell? Yes. Very famous one. And I think started in the 80s. Okay. So the it's it's a anime well it was an anime movie that was based off a of manga which then turned into a tv show which has actually some pretty cool stuff if you haven't seen it go out and check it out there's a lot of really cool things going on with that show but that's not why we're talking about it so ghost in the shell is going to go through an american remake not 100 percent sure where they're set in this one the original one is set in tokyo i believe it's set in this japan one, anyway i think japan. they go all over japan yeah they, so so it is a traditionally all the lead characters are asian inspired if not asian anime does something where they try to make it ambiguous what these characters are in my opinion they do i mean some people might totally disagree with that but i think they try to make them pretty much race you know uh i don't know how to put it they they try to make sure that the races don't play too big of a factor in any of it that's why you have purple people and dogs sometimes in animes and it's totally cool yeah. <laughs> you know they they I, try I, not to I think it zone depends in on, on the one anime. area. Depends <clears> on the anime. Certainly, yeah. Some of the animes, like if they're trying to be samurai or something like that, then of course it's more Asian inspired. But the reason we're talking about Ghost in the Shell today is because news leaked out that the producers slash video FX people were experimenting with a little something. And this caught my eye as pretty interesting, not necessarily in a good way. But apparently they were experimenting with a way of making the, the white characters in this movie mostly scarlett johansson who plays the lead role of this movie into asian characters so they were going to mess around with some of the digital effects and kind of change their appearance a little bit i imagine they were going to make the eyes a little bit thinner um maybe the face a little bit thinner as well i i i really don't know quite what they were trying to do but apparently they were trying to make these characters look more Asian. And I'm guessing it's to make them fit more into the story. This brings up a couple of things. Number one, is is it racist? Uh, I, I think the, the real argument there, I guess there's two. One, is it racist as people have brought it before? Why do they have the white actors anyway for this? Especially if they're going to then try to make them look Asian. Like, why wouldn't you yes. just start with an Asian yes. actor? I mean, you'd think it'd be easier and better <laughs> to do it that way. Like, I wasn't upset when they cast Scarlett Johansson in this. I figured, hey, this is an American remake of a Japanese, you know, IP, intellectual property, as in, I don't know, I probably used that term wrong. Brendan, yeah. go ahead and correct me. And the close enough. Um, okay, and and so it, it's you know they, it was an American remake, so I said okay, that's cool. Put cast in American actors, as in eh, I mean you can be Asian and American, you can be white and American, you can be black and American. It, American is not one race specifically, but I figured they were trying to make it you know the bigger the bigger actors that are on the scene here in America. Yeah, it's not like they bring use a more nobody actress. Scarlett Johansson yeah. is one of those actresses that can bring in money, so. It doesn't hurt to do that. But changing her appearance to make her look more Asian, not such a good look. Not, 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 I not a good look. I think the other argument, too, here that um, probably people are going to bring up is this now starts sounding like blackface. And that's what people mm. might be. That, which, which, again, I like it. I, I'm not agreeing. I think it's a bad look to do this. this that, that, as, in, as in bad idea to do something like this. It, it's just, it just yeah. reeks of yeah like you said blackface different things like that exploitation and, of some sort and, and it, it's that not, not a good trying to or at least so as far as we know they're not trying to uh badly stereotype asians with this like blackface did but you know it, it just starts sounding Still not like a good that. look not a good look and then the other thing that keeps popping up all around is this a case of whitewashing now if you don't know what whitewashing is it is when america takes something that has different ethnicities uh mo- I hear this more out of the Asian properties that they pull from, like any type of anime or something like that, and you change the characters from Asian to white. They like to call it whitewashing. And is this whatewashing? I, I'd say yes if they kept it. 
since they didn't, I don't think it is. I, I don't know. What do you think, Brian? You, I think it kind it might be now that they're trying to make them Asian. Just because it's try because what, part of what whitewashing really is about is about trying to block it, maybe not trying to, but um one of the big complaints is that it's blocking the actors and actresses that are capable of the specified races that fit um or do or do not fit and just putting in white actors and actresses because um and i think our our first example most related example to this kind of situation would be uh the the show kung fu where you know it, it was supposed to be a chinese chinese monk man. yeah and they put put David Carradine yeah. in there, so and, and they not only did that though, but they did it. Um, they, at least the rumor is that um, Bruce Lee was involved in designing, making this show, and was going to be had planned to be the the lead actor in that show, and he helped create it. And they said, "Oh well, we're not going to do it," and then they just cut him out and mm. did it anyway with. Uh, which is a not asian stupid. actor yeah but think about if they just put bruce lee in that that would have been amazing it would be go would from a show that some people really still in loved but it would be a classic like we'd still see it on tv if bruce lee was in it uh we don't see it anymore on TV. yeah which, which shows uh, you too though that you know it's not like he was like he was a bad actor that would have been poor for the role he would have been amazing at the role yeah yeah um and he had already shown himself to be a good tv actor previously in Green Hornet. Green Hornet, the TV show. Yep. It, so in now, which the show they also tried to uh to downplay his Asianness, even though Cato was an Asian too. Um, and so I, I thought of a list of actors, Asian actors in particular, especially female Asian actors, that would play this role well. And the only one I could really think of is Kelly Hu. I'm not saying there's none out there that that didn't just slip right past me, but I, I just thought Kelly who, and you might know her as lady death scythe uh, from X-Men two. Brendan's now like, Oh, that's who that is. Yeah. And, and, and I thought she would be a great person to put in this role and okay, boom, you put her in there and you, you have an Asian actor playing an Asian part. Great. But Kelly who I had to tell you who she was. Yeah. Like most well, people do not know who she is. So the draw of the big name actor, actress, is not there with some of those. Now I'm just trying to think of the highest profile Asian actress out there. And Lucy Liu. Yeah, I mean maybe. And she's a little older. She's a little bit yeah, old for this. She role, wouldn't. I, I don't think she would fit this role either. Uh, she yeah. does. She did all right with an action style role in Kill Bill, but I, I wouldn't want to see her in that over and over again. So, you know, it, it, it kind of it's it's hard to say yes, this is whitewashing, or no, this is not whitewashing. Now. You know, full disclosure, if you can't tell, me and Brendan here are white, so I don't know if no, our we got video effects really making us look white. Yeah, well, you're right. Yeah, we just we just special effects to ourselves to make ourselves look white. You but, can uh, guess yeah, what so we really it, are. It, I'm not trying to say, you know, that we are this authority, and so it's just I don't think it's whitewashing. It's not whitewashing. I could be totally off and wrong on this. I'm just trying to say, from my perspective, when they cast white actors in a remake, an American remake of a Japanese property, that it's not racist inherently to cast white actors or other race actors because, number one, you're going for the big names. Big names sell big movies, and if they want this to be a big movie... Yeah, there's plenty of people out there that know about Ghost in the Shell. Me and Brendan would have seen Ghost in the Shell no matter who's acting in it. But that's because we I've watched all the anime. You've watched all the anime. We watched the movies. How many, maybe 2 million people, 3 million people, 4 million people out there in this country have probably seen all that much. And that With is this a, one, I would say more than that, but you're right. Because it's, it's been not, around for so long. It's not going to be the the mainstream audience that a movie typically goes for, especially one that's probably going to be very well, expensive. Well, it wasn't going to be a mainstream movie audience until they cast Scarlett Johansson in the, the part, and then it makes it as mainstream as you can get. Mm -hmm. So it, it's 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 in, interesting there. Now, I, I went searching for other examples of other cultures changing characters, uh, their appearance, their race, whatever. I did come up with one in American culture that we've already seen, 
Now, Brendan likes to tell me that there's a comic book of Nick Fury that is based off of Samuel L. Jackson before he became Nick Fury. Great, cool. But Nick Fury is a character that was written and drawn originally as a white man. And for a long time, up until Original Sin, I don't remember seeing him as a non-white person. And then when Nick Fury, when Samuel L. Jackson was cast as Nick Fury, now after Samuel L. Jackson, even before Samuel L. Jackson played that, when I heard he was going to be Nick Fury, I was ecstatic. I was like, this guy is perfect. He's got the attitude. He's got the toughness. He he doesn't take crap from no one. you know. And I thought this was the perfect person to play Nick Fury. I, I, I can't imagine a white person doing a better job at Nick Fury than Samuel L. Jackson. But that was a case of them changing the traditional color of one of the, the characters from white to a different mm-hmm. color. I, I had no problem with that. I'm sure there were some bigot racists out there somewhere that were up in arms about it. But, you know, for me, I thought this was a perfect thing. I still say, though, he he was already changed in the comics. And he is the closest actor to any Nick Fury character that exists. So it's almost like if you did a Castell L. Jackson's Nick Fury, there, there's problems. Because he there's a Nick Fury was already a Nick Fury based off of Samuel L. Jackson, so... Sure, but like I said, traditionally speaking, Nick Fury is white. But the majority. then I tried to look for other other cultures, other countries who have done something, and one of the things I kept running into about whitewashing in this Ghost in the Shell movie was a lot of people kept saying this is an inherently Japanese story uh, about the birth of technology, and, you know, they do fast-forward it into the future, and it kind of gives you an interesting look, and I was like, okay... You're trying to say that this is a story that could only really take place in Japan. Okay, fine. What other movies has anybody changed the roles that could only take place in one certain place? Well, I ran across this Japanese movie called Unforgiven, and you might recognize that title as the Clint Eastwood 1993 movie, which was an American Western. So you could say, okay, American Western, it's very unique. That time period, what's happening there, it only happened in America that at that t- point in time. And really, you could say this is an inherently american story and most of the cowboys out there were white at those times so but japan did their own unforgiven movie where they changed them all to asian actors so are they racist just like ghost in the shell is racist now you could say it doesn't happen as often it's not as big of an industry (laughs) japan is also not as culturally culturally diverse as america is and all of those are valid points but if casting white actors for an asian movie or an Asian remake is racist, then casting Asian actors for a you know American movie remake is racist. I, I, now now it, they it's, might it's be a fine line because they're they uh, Japan isn't doesn't have the best reputation actually for race relations within their now. Granted, they don't have like you said they don't have a lot of diversity to draw from. Um, yeah, I mean, they are an island nation that was kind of segregated from the world until what about 1850? Had so xenophobic there's... tendencies every once in a while though that have yeah. come up, just like anywhere. But yeah. Um, so, I, I, and and I'm not trying to say that I'm right or I'm wrong. I don't see this as a racist thing. But again, you know, we're white, so yeah, eh, well, we could just be blowing this. I, I, mean, I would say letting this go over our heads. It's just it's just really weird specifically with Ghost in the Shell, the way they're going about it. Because with Ghost in the Shell, they did have a way out of this um, problem of of it not matching, of the actors not matching, you know, being in Japan, what you would expect of Japanese people in, in Japan. Because a lot of them are highly prosthetic. The main yeah. actress... Or the That's the true. main character is her the entire cyborg. body is artificial, yeah. so she could look like She's just got a brain. Anything, and the brain is artificial too, actually. Yeah, um, and several. Of them <laughs> That's the funny thing about it. Goes to show everybody's brain is artificial. Yeah, uh, they they just put your consciousness into this artificial brain. So yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, this character is also how can you say it's supposed to be Asian necessarily when it's supposed to be a cyborg? So I, I don't know. Yeah, so I, so it makes it kind of a weird situation that they then decide to take their white actors actress and and actors whoever however many people and try to um through cgi change them and it's also a little bit funny because it's just aren't they doing a laughing man uh setup where doesn't he like hacks and changes what people look like to yeah so image? maybe that was uh yeah that's that's an interesting part of this whole <laughs> thing too so it, it's just it's just 
and and we don't know where this movie is going to be set. I haven't had exact word that it is going to be set in Japan or it's going to be set somewhere else. If, for all we know, it's set in New York, like a lot of movies would do. It's a big or L.A. or yeah, some other could, big city. They Chicago. could significantly change up the story. I mean, the, yeah, an, a, a war with America that pre, between Japan and America is a big part of the overall. Yeah, story. it's the American Empire is is yeah always and looming still the in, of in the, the show. Empire but you could do it the opposite way and just say Japan built up another army and you know it's the Japan is looming over the Americas. You know, you could you could switch that up easy enough. Because it's rewriting fake history. I can rewrite fake history all day. Just did. I'm good at it. I did. I did. I did. But it, it's just, it's it's a fine line. And do I think some people are overreacting a little bit too much about this? Yes. I think it's a movie. Uh, I do understand that you wanted to represent who's out there. I mean, American cinema, you look at it, 90% of the leading actors or actresses, or at least definitely the highest paid ones, are white and there is a problem with that because you know 90 percent of america is not white it's it's a mixture of everything and so i'd like to see that diversity played out more on screen for sure but i don't know you, you could say just casting a white actress in a role that used yeah. to be an asian role or kind of still is is yeah. inherently racist it's so I here although there is i guess the last thing i would say is from what i understand there is an extra sort of sensitivity problem here with um one of the races that apparently hollywood is the worst at getting into roles is the Asian. asians yes that um, is true that is very true that's a valid point as well and I've, I've seen a lot of stuff about that where you know sometimes even movies will like producers will want to have uh asian actresses or actors in and they just say that they can't find any um, because their talent scouts are not looking for them, even they're because they're not. And there's a, weird dynamics there um, about trying to get their ends. You would say, hey, well, this is finally a big opportunity to start giving them more publicity. Like we said, there's not that many big ones, but maybe there's not that many big ones because they don't get these roles. Mm. Uh, it so could be so that catch-22. Well. There, there's that, but... So, but kind of that it's specifically Asian maybe makes us a little bit more of a stressor. But well, I mean, we heard about the same thing with black actors not being recognized at like yeah, but you see more, this year's more Oscars. black actors, and and I agree, I I agree with all now that. You I do, do believe there should be more diversity. You show off the diverse. I mean, this country is becoming what we're like forty percent, you know, Latin. I mean, there's not nearly enough Spanish actors out there. You know, it, we still have a ways to go. I'm yeah. not, but I'm not saying that this movie put us back. That's all I'm saying. That I'm not, I'm not going to blame. This I would movie say not necessarily. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. It, yeah, it's it hard, is, again, it's hard to say. Yeah, this is kind again, of just I'm a like, weird situation that they're doing the way that they're doing. And I almost feel like the whole visual effects to make them look more Asian a is a bad a move shame. in this situation. Just yeah. kind of roll with what you're already doing, but. But we'll see how they do it. But hit us up. Let us know what you think. Do you think this is whitewashing or are they just trying to change the movie to make it appeal to a big, greater American audience? Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Where's My Face on Twitter. Google Plus Facebook. Always good ways to get a hold of us, but let's keep on going.